Python is one of the most popular programming languages, loved by businesses and students alike. Excel is an essential tool used to organize, manipulate, and analyze all kinds of data. But until now, there hasn't been an easy way to use these two tools together. Today, we're excited to introduce the public preview of Python and Excel, making it possible to integrate Python and Excel analytics within the same Excel grid for uninterrupted workflow. How to install and get Python formula in Excel. Python in Excel is only available with Microsoft Office 365, and to get this feature, you should move to the beta channel. To do so, you'll need to follow these steps. From the file menu, select the account option, and then from Microsoft 365 Insider, select change channel and change your channel from current to beta. Agree to the terms and then click OK. It will take a while to download the Microsoft 365 updates. After the updates are finished downloading, restart the Excel app. Then from the formula tab, find Python preview tools. When you click the insert Python menu, you'll see two options, Python in Excel and Try Python Samples. When you click Try Python Samples, you will get side options to get started with Python examples. For example, describe with pandas, create a scatter plot, correlation matrix, and others. Just click Insert Sample and it will immediately load in your Excel file. In this video, we're going to focus on the first option, Python in Excel. When you click the Python in Excel option, you will get the PY function on the selected cell with the Python code area at the top. You can expand or collapse to write your Python code. There's also another way to activate the Python formula. Simply select the cell and write equals PY, then click tab or select the PY formula. Using any of these methods, you'll find Python formula is activated in the cell. How to get started with simple Python. Let's start by creating a simple Python formula. For this example, I have data that includes employee information and salaries, and I want to analyze it in Python. First, select the entire table. Once the table is selected, it mentions header equals true. This is a very important point to be considered while selecting your data range in Python. If you click enter, it will extend the Python code area. So instead, to end your Python code, you should click control enter. As you can see, the cell appears as data frame, and by clicking on it, a data frame table preview will pop up, and you can see all of your data columns and the first few rows. At the top, it mentions the number of columns and the number of rows for your data frame. Clicking the preview button also allows you to analyze different options to expand your data, for example, array preview. For the expanded data, you can adjust format or copy and paste to other cells. And to remove this expanded data, you can simply remove the content from the first cells of this range. You can also change the Python output preview of your data just by right-clicking on the data frame. Then, go to Python output and you can find two options. One is Python object, which is already the default Python output, and the second is Excel value. Click on Excel value and all of your data sets will be expanded to the Excel cells. You can also simply change the formatting of this data. You also have the option to change the Python output from the button that is next to the PY formula. Python output types in Excel. In this example, Python output gives us a data frame type. This means that the result is a table of our data set consisting of columns and rows as we see it on the data frame. Sometimes the output is an image. This means that the output will be a photo. Sometimes the output is a series. This means that the output will be a single column. If I want to get a single column from my data range, for example, title in this case, I will add title in brackets based on Python language. Then, as you can see, output changed from data frame to series, and by clicking on T-series, it will preview a table of a single column for the title field. Python formulas. There are a lot of Python formulas. For example, we're going to start with the most famous formula in Python, which is describe. The describe formula can be used to give us a summary of the data set. Select any cell, then add equals PY, then select your data set range, then add dot describe parenthesis close parenthesis, then click control enter. The output will be a data frame as it contains a table output. As you can see, the data frame preview only describes columns that contain values like age and salary with measures like count, mean, standard deviation, etc. In the same way, you can change the Python output from Python object to Excel value. Then your descriptive measures will be extended to the Excel cells. 
When you change data range values, it will immediately update the Python output value, and there's no need to refresh data like you have to when you use pivot tables. Python describe for a specific series. In this example, we tried the describe formula to output a summary for the whole data range. But what if I want to get a summary for only one column or a series? For this example, we'll use the department column. To use Python describe for a specific series, write department in brackets before dot describe parenthesis close parenthesis, then you can get a summary for this column only. This feature also allows you to use count, unique, top, and frequency. Define your Python data. Each time you use the PY formula, you have to select the dataset range or table. But what if I want to give a name for this PY range? In this case, after selecting the Python data range, enter your Python name, then equals before the Python data range. For this example, we will name this Python formula salaries. You will be able to recall this name at any time and it will be reflected in the Python formula. Just go to any cell and insert Python formula equals PY, then write the name that you give to your Python formula. So I will just type salaries and now it works. Remember that your Python data should be after the defined Python cell, not before it. As you can see, if I move the recalled Python data before the defined Python formula, it will give the error, name error is not defined. So be sure to check that your Python data is in the yellow zone, which is after the defined Python cell. Group your Python data. Now I'm going to show you how to use one of the most important Python formulas, group by. This formula allows you to create calculations in your data based on a specific column item. After Python range, add dot group by, and then add your desired group in parentheses. In this example, we're going to make a summary for the department group, and we will want the result to sum the value of columns age and salary. Our formula will be py equals salary dot group by parentheses department in brackets dot agg parentheses sum. By clicking the output data frame, you can see the data frame results give a sum of age and salary for all groups by the department column. You can also output the Python to Excel as we mentioned before. You can also change sum to another function like max and it will immediately reflect the results to age and salary for each group. You can also use other functions like min and mean in the same way. Get more Python formulas and visuals. To learn more about Python formulas, there are large libraries of Python formulas available on the web. You can simply search on Google for Python functions and will find free websites for Python functions. Many will be from docs.python.org. By accessing this website, you will find a huge library of Python formulas. Just select your desired formula to learn more. You can also find a library for a smart Python visual on seaborn.pydata.org. This website will give you a large library for statistical data visualization. Just go to Gallery and select your desired graph. Go down and copy the Python code. Then go to your Python datasheet and write equals py and paste the code. You should do the small adjustments to make sure the code is compatible for your Python data names and then hit Control Enter. The Python output will be converted to an image for the selected Python visual. Right click and select Python output, Excel value, and the chart will be inserted into the Python data cell. By increasing the cell size, you can expand the visual to a bigger size. You can also output it as a photo just by right-clicking on the cell, then click Picture in Cell, Create Reference. Then you can copy and paste the output photo to any sheet in your Excel file. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and visit simplesheets.co for more great tutorials like this one.